before we draw the beans from the walking vegetable story today, I thought I would show you a section of a green bean vine that I pulled out of our garden. And I wanted you to know that at one end, the beans are quite a bit longer than up here, also thicker, fatter. And um, it depends on which end of the vine had flowers first and which end had flowers later on. They mature as their, their flowers are pollinized and um, um, the flowers wither, but then the beans start to form. Here's one that has um, really matured past the point of eating it as green beans. Sometimes people open these up and cook green beans and, and the, the, the bean seeds uh, together and they call them shelly beans. Today we're going to draw bean like I drew it for the Walking Vegetables book. There's four steps you can see here. So we're going to start with this step and draw a slightly curved wiggly line that starts at the top and goes down towards the bottom of the, our page. Now we're going to draw another one that w curves the other way, wiggles in and out in a way that matches the first line we drew and connects at the top and the bottom. Now we're going to draw a third line inside of these two and this is the line where you could open up the bean pod and see the bean seeds growing inside. Some beans have a string that you pull and you call those string beans. Now the last step is just to add a few little lines to indicate the bulging of the beans inside of the pot. There we go, there's our bean. And I want to show you how I changed the bean into a cartoon figure for the story of the walking vegetables. Uh, the, here is Bean with his friends Corn and Squash. And here is Bean with Radish. These are the kind of beans that Iowa farmers grow more than any other. As you can see, they look a little bit different from the beans that I drew in the walking vegetable story. Here is a stalk from a soybean plant. You will see how the, the bean pods are clustered together and grow up and down the stalk. Now this stalk came from a field that was already harvested and this was left at the edge of the field. If we squeeze on this a little bit, it pops open, and there you can see the soybeans inside. 